Hey guys, so I'm going to do another video today. Um, I've done these in the past when I had these things blooming. Um, I think I did one. I don't think I had one last year. I didn't have one bloom last year. But anyway, um, I did one, I think, for 2012. Or two for 2012. But uh, this is the Morpher Palace Conjac. I've had these since, oh lord, 2006, 2007, I think, when I got my first one. And the reason I got it was because when I was still in high school in 2006, 2000, or er, 96 to 97 um, I went to a Carver Career Center here in Charleston and they had some of these that were in their greenhouse they call them snake snake palms or something and I saw one on eBay and I looked up the flower on it and I had to have one so I got one I uh, actually I got about 30 of them but anyway this is a plant this is a more phallus contract this is one I got off of eBay in October November and it's just now well it opened yesterday Today, today is the 22nd, so it opened on the 21st, but you could smell it on the 20th. It was a very, very faint smell. You couldn't smell it until you got right up to the, to the um, um, spatics on it. But here it is. So this is the Morphin Ballast Conjac. It is a little over four feet tall. And the bulb, I think, was five pounds. But whenever these things bloom, they, they use the energy from the bulb so it actually loses weight every year. And it's the flower. And the reason why it's leaning, when I came home yesterday, it was, it was knocked, it fell over and it was leaning up against the window here. Right there where that window is. And these here, these are also, these are some ficus I got. This is a variegated one. I got, I think, from. Lowe's that was in a four inch pot a couple years ago. This one I brought back in 2010 from a friend's house in Georgia. It was also in a four inch pot and it was about six inches tall. So from 2010 to 2013 it grew from six inches to six feet two inches. But anyway, back to this one. It's here. This is the spadix. This is what produces the smell. If you'll notice, all these little shiny areas, let me get it to quit moving. There's little light colored spots on there. Is where the the um, the smell comes from. This this part here releases little uh, I guess you call them globules of some some type of a liquid, and it makes this it releases that scent. Now the reason these things smell bad, and I think I've explained this before, is where they're from. I think this particular species of conjac is from China or Japan. Um, in their natural habitat, they don't have bees and butterflies and hummingbirds and and honeybees and all that stuff. So they have to find a different way to pollinate their flowers there, which is going to be your dung beetle and your flies. They're going to be the ones that pollinate these. Uh, these, these, you have to have two of these in bloom to pollinate them because you can't, you can't pollinate one from the pollen from this flower with the flowers in the base because the flowers that are in the base, which is that that ring all the way down there in the bottom, those are the flowers. They're they're receptive for one day, which means they'll accept pollen for one day. After that day ends and the next day begins, it releases its pollen from itself, and the pollen falls in the base. That prevents self-pollination from these plants, which is a weird way of looking at things. But you know, plants do what they want to, pretty much. This is also related to the Dracunculus vulgaris, which I have one of those two. I think I may have done. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't do a video on that one. I just took pictures of it. But anyway, these things do stink. Now, if you have, if you have ever opened a package of hamburger or some type of meat. And you cook some of it, you put the rest in the refrigerator, and you forgot about it. And then one day you open the fridge, and, and you see this thing is all poofed up like there's air in it. And you open it up, and you smell that really sour, it's sourer than sauerkraut smell. But it's so bad that it burns your nose. I mean, it, this doesn't quite get that bad, but it really smells bad. And that's basically what this smells like, is a rotten hamburger. If, if you want to do an experiment, put some hamburger outside in the middle of summer, let it sit for a day or two in a container with a lid on it, and then open it up after day three, and you'll get the smell. 
But that's what they smell like. I think this this bulb here is probably about five or six years old, maybe seven. But that's what they are. This is the spadix here. Or spath, sorry, this is a spath. This is a piece that resembles rotting meat. This is what it looks like. It looks like it's like a giant cattle lily with a a large spadix in the middle. And they are related to cattle lilies. They're all in the aeroid family. But they're pretty. They they start out green with spots like that. And then they slowly turn in that reddish maroon color. I don't know if you can see this too well, but this is the bulb right here. This thing blooms with no dirt. You don't need dirt for it. You don't need to water it or nothing. But I got it in this pot just to keep it to stand up. This is the sheath that protects the bud as it's starting to come up out of the tuber. And this is the last part of it right here. Then you got your main stem. I mean, of course, your flower. But yes, this thing stinks really bad. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of this room for a minute. This is really make my stomach turn. Um, but that's the bloom on it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, oh, let me show you this other one I've got. Uh, this is a sore mountain minnows. This flower, this thing bloomed last week sometime. Um, but this is this is what it looks like. It blooms also with no water, no dirt, no soil, nothing. Um, that's the old flower bud right there. And that is the new leaf bud right there beside it getting ready to come out. You can actually see the little roots right here. Come on. This one actually smells like poop. You ever been out in the field where there's cows and they just uh, shit a big old crap of shit? That's exactly what this flower smells like. This flower lasts for one day, one day only. And it's also pollinated <coughs> excuse me, by flies and anything else that normally messes around with rotten shit. Now this one will here in a week or two, it'll probably have its leaves out because I'm getting ready to plant it today. And this is the spadix that was on it. The spadix on this, you can actually feel the heat come off of it whenever it's in bloom. That one's of course is dried up and it's dead, so. But anyway, those are the the stinkiest plants I've got. Um, I think I posted the Morphophallus albus video. Um, Mausam Basensis. I posted that one too on YouTube. If you have any questions about these plants or any plant in general, if I've grown it or if I know someone who has, I can pretty much give you an answer to it. Um, but most of the plants I have are tropical plants or cactus, succulents, um, orchids and stuff like that. And stapeliates. And those are the ones I usually grow throughout the year. But if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And I'll do my best to get back to you on the, with the answers. So see y'all later.